head over to Patreon if you want to see the full-length, uncut, early access versions of these videos way before YouTube sees them. Let's get it. I'd say it was a good shot, but it was at point-blank range. Close enough that even a poor shot could have done it. Well, now tell I feel me, for her being framed, man. This is just all just misdirect, isn't it? A 45, sir. It says here you fired exactly one shot. What was that round used for? It lists the reason right there on the form. I fired my weapon in defense of Edward Elric while in the fifth laboratory. But the fifth laboratory is no longer operational. It remains unmanned. It was definitely not unmanned. They're going to treat her like absolute sure. garbage as well until they're like proven in this. hundred percent. We looked for the bullet. All that we would be able to find is a pile of rubble. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> but Lieutenant, we have eyewitness testimony. You were spotted leaving the scene on the day of the murder at the same time as the shooting. That's Wait. impossible. Calm down, Lieutenant. Uh, yeah, but it's the um. So what were you doing at that time? It's because they can change appearance, right? Yeah, that's it. Please check with them. All you can offer us is your family's testimony. And that won't stand because they would lie for you. Yeah. I can corroborate her story. Lieutenant Ross and I both fired around from our weapons at the Fifth Laboratory. Yes, and it's all written in my report. But everyone's ignoring it, sir. Hmm. Are they trying to frame the second lieutenant for this? Wow. I just love how conspiratorial the show gets. I yeah, know, they just, just nail it with that. When you look close, you're all There's always something stuck. going on in there. Mm. You're having a rough time of it. What are we gonna do? They must feel pretty lost right now. Uh, you would, wouldn't you? Naturally. And they're obviously depressed as well. Like that last episode, it's one of these things that like, I love this show, but I didn't enjoy that, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. And we were saying earlier on, it was like the worst one to finish. We It was our last episode of the session. Yeah, it was, yeah. We were like, right, bummer. <laughs> Rest Gonna go day. cry now. Just right off. I think about that, it terrifies me. It's true, you would think, because it, it's different when, you know, something close to home hits you. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It makes it feel more real, especially for her. Because a lot of this stuff, it's always kind of like, you never think it's going to happen to you. But then as soon as it becomes a reality and then like especially to those near that you know you're like Jesus. sometimes i wish you would just give this whole thing up i also want you to stay alive and safe i'm not sure what i think you should do i really don't know i like that though it's honestly like i don't know what you should do but i don't like this situation you know <laughs> al picking up the mood what a guy the newspaper again Again? Sitting you all day. This is the only entertainment I get. <laughs> Burn. Huh? This is that lady from the laboratory. Mmm. Mm, let's go. He might be under threat here, you know. Wow. Because he could corroborate, couldn't he? Because mm -hmm. he was like, they were shooting at me. <laughs> like. Damn. You're convicted of Brigadier General Hughes's murder. Wow. What's that? Commotion. What's happening? Guns We're out. An intruder. Come on, behave yourself. Got it? I will. <laughs> He's getting Who's out of there. Who's the intruder? Oh, it's him. You can do better than that. He's still coming oh. out. The guns don't even dent him. Hold it. Stay back. Got All right. Ah, uh, yeah, you oh. would be shit scared after that. Oh, that's gonna sting. This would be a lot more fun if I was allowed to cut him up. Where did you say you were from? Shing, east of the desert. Come with me. Interesting. Oh. I've been looking for you. Wow, that You're was scary. Laboratory. You haven't forgotten me. How sweet. How could you forget? I remember you too. Right now, it's looking like you'll be facing the firing squad for That's sure. mad. That's true. They're wrong. If they would just do a proper investigation. <laughs> Here are your choice. Or bust out of this joint with me. Which will it be? I mean... Either way, it looks awful, doesn't it? Yeah. Isn't there anything else I can do? I have no choice. Oh, Dad, please forgive me. <laughs> He's just Fine, like, let's go. Yeah. I'll do what I have to do. To be fair, she's completely innocent. Yep. Notify every zone in the But what are the Elric brothers going to do, though? Because they know she's innocent. She's with a violent accomplice. They must be caught. It depends if they want to listen to anything that proves that she's innocent. The order is shoot to kill. Oh, my champion. Just keep moving. You're that guy. <laughs> you too? Uh, 
Hey guys, what are you up to? I could ask the same of you. Quit chattering. I guess they're three people you just wouldn't expect to be together. So not a, a group. Back alley and run straight to the warehouse district. Lieutenant Ross. Wow. Mustang. Oh no! If she gets shot, I swear. You're Maria Ross, right? What was that? Looks like they got her. Hold it! Get back here! I don't think he would, though. No. Let's go, foreigner. I'll have to fill you in later. <laughs> What now? Oh, maybe he did. Hey there, full metal. Bro. What? Tell me! Full metal alchemist. Jesus. Wow. Bro, I didn't need to cook like that. Why would Second Lieutenant Ross... Why didn't you say anything? Damn. Right, he is not in the mood. You threaten a superior officer? Oh, I don't think he cares. No. Maria Ross was a fugitive. Our orders were shoot to kill, so I did. Oh. That's all you have to say? About Hughes' death, I apologize for hiding it. Or ask for explanations. Just follow them. Oh, dude. When That's it comes out that she was innocent, he's in so much trouble. Well, at the same time, I don't trust this show. <laughs> True. Mustang. She resisted, so I killed her. I understand the Would you say you don't trust the show? Do you mean you think she's still alive? Yeah. yeah. I don't think he's that guy. He was a good man. Hmm. Maybe. Then it was Plus the body, is it identifiable other than the tags? One of my men? Hmm. But why? So you could burn her to death with your own hand. I think such speculation is best avoided. Jesus. Dude, eyes. I think it's the manner in which I'm truly sorry for mm. that body was there, you know, whether it's her or not. Her body was almost completely destroyed. I was able to conclude that this is indeed Maria Ross. Oh, okay. It's an awful thing you did. You must have held quite a grudge against her. Didn't you, Colonel? Is the vengeance as sweet as you imagined it? Damn. Bro, have, I like the fact that he don't give a shit, though. Mm. The famous hero of the Ishvalan War going this far against a little girl that makes me sick. That's why I don't trust about it. Please allow me to apologize for one of my own officers in action. She was so straightforward and earnest, compassionate, a truly he, fine officer. He knows. He's just saying that for the sake of saying it, but he don't believe it. Yeah. He's angry at Mustang, isn't he? Yeah. Back east, where I was. It's a nice place. None of the big city noise. And lots of beautiful women. Wowzers. After a daring escape, the fugitive is killed by Colonel Mustang, eager to avenge his best friend. And all's well that ends well. Now he doesn't have a reason to snoop around anymore. Besides, we did manage to sow some animosity. His subordinates won't trust him. That's true. Mm, 100%. It's a request for leave. At a time like this? Is that a no? <laughs> Mate, losing her is going to be a big one. Yeah. He's the sort of guy that, like, what I don't think that would phase like him. That. Do you know what the colonel would no. do to me if he found out? Signal fire. Bringing someone back here you know nothing about? How can you be so stupid? <laughs> Young lord, we've been looking for you. Wow. Looks like a party. Bruh. The coast is clear. She's out of the office at the moment. And a good thing, too, or else I wouldn't be able to talk to you. Dude. So how do you like that? Colonel Mustang's nanny or something. <laughs> uh-huh, that's right. I could use a nice relaxing fishing trip. Care to come along? <laughs> no. What are you... Oh! What? Listen to me, Edward Elric. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is no good. No good at all. Auto mail seems to be broken. Uh, okay. Wait, what is yes, going on here? It's a serious situation indeed. We'll have to repair it at once. There's no time to waste. Allow What's me to doing? escort you to Rizenbul for repairs. You're going back home to Rizenbul? I have no idea what he's talking about, mm. Al. And you, Alphonse Elric, stand out too much, so you remain here in Central. Okay. Wait, what right. is going on? We need to right. make arrangements for transportation right away. What? He's, got, he's obviously up to something, Good isn't he? Major. Yeah, something, something's at play here. I'm afraid I can't do that. Mm -hmm. These are my orders from him. Him? Him. Okay, I got it. Finally, everyone's out of the way. Ah. Uh, 
I was able to locate a witness that saw the man who orchestrated the breakout. Here, this is a rough sketch of the guy. Oh, That's a good sketch. Very good sketch. Is there any direct connection to the colonel? In other words, you have no idea. You're useless. Don't blame this on me, you ugly hag. I'm short on manpower. Yeah. Manpower? <laughs> but you've got plenty of manpower right here. Oh, God. It looks like you're finally on. Bury the chopper. Oh, dude. 